Have you ever wondered how top salespeople sell anything to anyone? The power of sales is nothing short of magical. It can turn a simple idea into a thriving business, an unknown product into a household name. It can transform a struggling entrepreneur into a successful business tycoon. But what really makes this magic happen? What's the secret formula that top salespeople use to enchant their customers? Sales is the lifeblood of any business. Whether you're a multinational corporation or a small startup, sales are what keep you afloat. Sales are what allow your business to grow, to innovate, to break new ground. Without sales, even the most groundbreaking ideas, the most innovative products could fade into obscurity. But sales is more than just a business necessity. It's an art form, a science, a skill that can be honed and perfected. It's about understanding your customer, anticipating their needs, and offering them something that not only meets those needs, but exceeds their expectations. It's about creating an experience, a story that your customer can connect with. It's about building a relationship that goes beyond the transaction. So, what's the secret to becoming a top salesperson? What techniques do they use to captivate their audience, to win over even the most skeptical of customers? The answer lies in a blend of psychology, communication and strategy. From understanding human behavior to mastering the art of persuasion, from perfecting their product knowledge to developing a killer sales strategy, top salespeople are masters of their craft. They understand that every customer is different, that every sale is a unique interaction. They know how to adapt their strategies, how to tweak their pitches, how to connect with their customers on a deeper level. They see every sale as an opportunity, every customer as a potential advocate for their product or service. So, are you ready to delve into the world of sales? To uncover the techniques that can turn a potential customer into a loyal patron? To learn the art of selling anything to anyone? Prepare to unlock the secrets of successful salespeople and learn how you can apply them to your own sales strategies. Did you know that the first step to successful selling is understanding your customer? Yes, you heard it right. The key to unlocking the door of successful sales lies in the realm of understanding. But what does that mean exactly? Well, it's all about getting to know who your customers are, what they need, and what they desire. Imagine walking into a store, looking for a new pair of shoes. The salesperson approaches you, but instead of showing you the latest trendy sneakers, they guide you towards the dress shoes section. They didn't understand your need, did they? And consequently, they failed to make a sale. This scenario highlights the importance of studying your customers. It's a bit like being a detective, piecing together clues to form a picture of who your customer is and what they are looking for. This includes understanding their lifestyle, their preferences and their motivations. What drives them to make a purchase? Is it need, desire or perhaps a bit of both? Now, armed with this knowledge, you're in a better position to tailor an effective sales pitch. You're not just selling a product, you're selling a solution to a problem, a fulfillment of a desire. You're selling an experience that resonates with your customer on a personal level. Imagine if that salesperson in the shoe store had taken a moment to understand that you were there for casual shoes, not formal ones. They would have guided you towards the sneakers, perhaps even suggested a few pairs based on your style and preferences, and voila, they'd have made a sale. The art of understanding is about connecting with your customers on a deeper level. It's about showing them that you're not just interested in making a sale but you're genuinely interested in their needs and desires. So get to know your customers, study them, understand them, and then use this understanding to craft a sales pitch that resonates with them, that speaks to their needs and desires. Remember, a good salesperson knows their product, but a great salesperson knows their customer. Have you heard of the saying, a good salesman can sell ice to an Eskimo? Well, that's not just a cute phrase. It's a testament to the power of persuasion. Now let's delve into the art and science of persuasion and its pivotal role in the realm of sales. Persuasion, my friends, is not about trickery or manipulation. It's about building a bridge of trust with your potential customers, then guiding them across that bridge with a compelling demonstration of value. It's about understanding your customers' needs, then aligning those needs with the benefits of your product or service. So how do you build this bridge of trust? It begins with authenticity, be honest, be transparent, and show genuine interest in your customer's needs. Remember, trust is like a paper once it's crumbled, it can't be perfect again. Next, 
Step into your customers' shoes. Understand their pain points, their aspirations, their fears. Show empathy, offer solutions, and most importantly, listen. Don't just hear their words, but also try to understand the unspoken needs and desires. Now, on to demonstrating value. This is where your product or service comes into play. Illustrate how your offering can solve their problems, fulfill their needs, or help them achieve their goals. Show them the bigger picture, a vision of a better future or an easier life with your product. But remember, it's not about exaggerating claims, but about painting an honest, compelling picture of what you have to offer. And let's not forget the power of storytelling. Stories are an incredibly powerful tool in persuasion. They allow us to connect on a deeper level, stir emotions, and make our offering more relatable. So weave a narrative around your product, a narrative that resonates with your customers' experiences and aspirations. In the end, persuasion is not about pushing a sale. It's about creating a win-win situation where your customers feel valued, understood, and satisfied. It's about building long-term relationships based on trust and mutual benefit. True persuasion is about helping your customers see the undeniable value of what you're offering. Did you know that most sales are not made on the first, second, or even third contact? Now let's talk about the importance of follow-up in the sales process. You see, the act of selling is a journey, not a sprint. It's a delicate dance between you and the potential customer, and it's essential not to rush the process. Your ability to follow up, to remain patient and persistent, can often be the key that unlocks the sale. Just imagine this. You've had a successful meeting with a potential client. You've demonstrated your product or service's value, answered their questions and addressed their concerns. But they're not ready to commit just yet. This is where the magic of follow-up comes in. Following up is about more than just reminding the customer about your product or service. It's about showing them that you're genuinely interested in their needs and willing to invest the time to understand them. It's about building trust and demonstrating that you're there for them, not just for the sale. Persistence is crucial here. You're planting a seed and it takes time to grow. You need to water it, nurture it and give it sunlight. In sales, this means staying in touch, addressing new concerns and continually demonstrating your value. But remember, there's a fine line between being persistent and being pushy. Your goal is to be a helpful, reliable resource, not a constant annoyance. Patience, on the other hand, is about understanding that decisions, especially important ones, take time. Not everyone is ready to jump in immediately. They need time to think, to weigh their options, to discuss with others, and that's perfectly fine. By being patient, you're showing respect for their decision-making process. So remember, the sale doesn't end when the customer says no. In fact, that's often where it truly begins. It's your cue to step up your game, to demonstrate your commitment, to show your potential customer that you're in it for the long haul. Successful salespeople understand that the sale begins when the customer says no. Are you ready to put all these techniques into action and become a top salesperson? We've journeyed together through the magic of sales understanding the art of empathy and connection, harnessing the power of persuasion, and recognizing the paramount importance of follow-up. As we conclude this journey, it's time to put all these pieces together and create a picture of a successful sales strategy. Let's take a moment to revisit our journey. We began with the magic of sales, where we discovered that selling isn't about pushing a product, but rather about creating a story, a story that makes your customers the heroes. We learned that successful selling starts with understanding your customers, their needs, their desires, and their goals. This is the art of understanding. Next, we dived into the power of persuasion, where we learned that persuasion isn't manipulation. It's about influencing decisions while respecting the autonomy of your customers. It's about presenting your product or service as the best possible solution to their problems. Then we explored the importance of follow-up, we discovered that the sale doesn't end when the customer says yes, it's just the beginning. The follow-up is where you build trust, create loyalty, and turn customers into advocates for your brand. Now, it's your turn to take these strategies and implement them in your own sales process. Remember, these are not just tactics to make a sale, but principles to build relationships. Because at the end of the day, sales is about people. It's about understanding their problems, 
offering a solution and making their life better. And here's the thing, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to sales. You need to take these principles and adapt them to your unique situation. Because every customer is different, every product is different, and every salesperson is different. Remember, sales is not just about selling a product or service. It's about solving a problem, fulfilling a need, and making a difference. Now go out there and sell.